All right, welcome back to Impossible. Next up, I have Aries. All right, Aries. How you guys doing out there? I'm sorry, I got these cards because, wow. All right, two of cups. So, so connection. Somebody's in love with you guys. All right, two. Some of you may be born April 2nd. And, you know, when I looked at the clock, when I started this, it was 222. So, some of you all may be seeing 222, follow your, uh, the synchronicities. But I have a lot of videos to do today, so I'm going to get straight to the point. Some of you all may be born April 4th, April 5th, 23 years old, 32 years old, uh, 22. Yeah. Okay. I don't want this. Let me get my anonymous card, see what's going on here. Okay. Hope you guys are having a great day today. As for me, my mind is everywhere. All right, Aries. Mm. Wow, okay. So somebody is just envious of you. <laughs> All right, so let's just start with that. Envious, be careful with phony karmic friends around you and uh, envious of your um, accomplishments, of the way you dress, how much money you make, which is nobody's business, but you got my drift, right? Preservation. So somebody is still um, holding on to this relationship, preserving it, um, taking care. <laughs> wants to take care of it. Wants to, uh, yeah, still have uh, you in their heart and healing. Some of y'all may be going through the healing process, uh, currently going through a healing process. All right. Um, take time to meditate. All right. Get in tune with your higher ups. With your spirit guides again two to two pay attention to the synchronicities to the signs that spirit is trying to send to you let's see what's the scoop okay but mm, a lot of envious people around you all right careful careful with that energy that negative energy do away with it yeah wow yes Okay, the grass the grass was fake. So a lot of fake people around you, the grass was greener because it was fake. Yeah, so a lot of fake people around you are uh, monitoring you, but fake. That's the that's the key word, fake. Okay? So what seems to look green and fresh is not. Okay? It's not what it seems. All right? Yeah. So you guys are going through a transformation right now. Okay? Things are changing in your life, preservation. So really um preservation is you preserving oneself, doing what you want to do, helping yourself grow, loving oneself, okay, in tune with nature. I see green, a lot of green, money coming your way, a lot of abundance, okay, because manifesting uh, with your, your desires are within reach, whoa, so the power is in your hand, so you guys are powerful manifestors, you guys, whatever you're manifesting is coming to fruition right now, yeah, wow, okay, whoa, that's great, <laughs> let's see the situations. Uh, somebody's going through a transformation right now too as far as the grass was greener because it was fake so I feel like somebody is envious over you this may have been a somebody else concerning somebody else that you were dealing with they probably with somebody else right now uh, thought that it was gonna be a better choice found out that it wasn't a better choice okay now this other person I feel like there's another person watching you very envious of you because now this person is trying is going through a transformation wants to come back to you manifesting you but you are you guys are manifesting what you want healing going through the healing process this person is healing as well but still preserving this relationship preserving it wants to come back wants to say something to you and this other person knows that their feelings doesn't reside with them it resides with you so this person was fake they understand this now you were the real deal okay Yeah, this may have been doing, uh -huh, you see, this may have been uh, to do with a divorce. Some of y'all may be going through a divorce. I felt something right there. Uh, okay, like a push and pull energy. This is crazy. Irre irreconcilable differences, divorce, final. Okay, so some somebody, uh, either you were dealing with somebody that was married or going through, or you guys are dealing with somebody that's going through a divorce. Uh, this other person knows about you. 
okay? Or you guys will go through a divorce right now, finalizing things. Even if you're not in a law, uh, in a, a marriage, a law to relationship, you guys are going to be finalizing, finalizing things and moving on from this connection. Hamster wheel, okay? So right now you guys are concerned about your money, surviving the daily hustle, hustling, okay? All about your money right now. And I say a lot of green around you, so a lot of money coming your way, or a lot of money coming your way, okay? Yeah. And unconditional love, genuine certain love. Somebody has a lot of love for you. This is a divine connection with the two of cups, like I said, that I've seen. This is the, uh, somebody has a lot of love for you, and they're coming in. I see, I feel this energy coming. They're coming. Okay, yeah. Uh, let me get my tarot. Wow, you know a song just came up in my head? If it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. Who sang that song? If it makes you happy, it can't be that bad. I think Cheryl Crow. Cheryl Crow? I think so. I think that's who sings it. All right, so we're at two cards. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Somebody's definitely manifesting right now, still holding on to this relationship. Okay, nine of cups, two of cups. I mean, two of pentacles, four of pentacles, and nine, and nine of cups. So somebody is definitely still holding on to this connection, still uh, reminiscing, okay, uh, trying to preserve it like the leaf. Okay, nine of cups, you're their wish fulfillment. They're manifesting this uh, love back, this connection back. Okay, so some of y'all left. So if this person uh, left, you for somebody else you said you know if it makes you happy it can't be that bad right but it was that bad that the grass was the grass was fake okay but now they want you back they manifesting this love back they love you they are in love with you going through the transformation to the transition to come back to you okay and getting their money up daily hustle okay to come in and make you a solid offer all right yeah Okay, what I said, this person is in love with the Ace of Cups, in love with you, okay? And somebody else knows that this person is in love with you and they're envious and jealous over you. Too bad. Yeah, because with the High Priestess, uh, this person sees you, this is a sign of Pisces, Cancer, Virgo. This person sees you as somebody that's enlightened, somebody that they could grow with, somebody that they could learn with, spiritually inclined, okay? But at the same time, mysterious, okay? Hiding oneself, all right? Yeah, April 1st, some of you all may be born April 13th, April 4th, 1st, April 11th, okay, but I see a lot of ones, so pay attention to the signs and the synchronicity, 111, this may be a twin flame, soulmate coming in, a divine connection, like I said, um, some of you all may be tarot readers, some of you all may be getting tarot readings on this person, this person may be getting tarot readings on you, okay, but this person sees you as very enlightened, very uh, spiritual, but very mysterious at the same time. Uh, a great manifester. Yes. So uh, anything that you want to manifest, it comes to light. Yeah, this may definitely have been a third party situation going on here with too many people involved. But the other person is jealous of you with the sun card. Uh, this person is heading towards their happiness. You are this person's happiness, sign of Leo. There may be children involved in this connection as well. You guys may be getting pregnant by this person. Excuse me. Uh, Khalil. Yeah, you got you guys might be getting pregnant by this person, but I see you guys. This person is headed towards uh, their happiness, which is you. You make them happy. They're in love with you. Yeah, but with the four of cups, I don't see you taking um, any offers right now. Yep. You see? Um, you're in your head, and you're contemplating. You're healing, okay? This may have devastated you, so you're healing and going through the healing process, but you, I don't see you get, taking any offers. This person is afraid to come towards you because this person knows that they rejected you, stabbed you in your back, but now they're coming with their love, with their cup of love. But, they, but they're but they scared you're not going to take it. Yep. Because you're maintaining uh, mysterious right now. But you guys are seeking from the higher up your answers. But the answers are here. So Spirit is saying pay attention. Because yeah, they're going through a time moment, sign of Scorpio. Okay? In their own connection. When they when they release this, this is what they're going through now. Okay? Everybody, look. This relationship is burning down. Whatever connection that they were in is burning down. The grass wasn't greener. Okay? Yeah. And Eight of Cups, they're walking away from it. 
walking away. Yeah, with the high front from a high level relationship. This must have been, uh, again, a marriage, a traditional marriage. But with the high front, this speaks of um, a sign of Taurus, but uh, religious factors, spiritual factors, stuff like that. Okay? Yeah. This person wanted to stay in this connection because uh, well respected. This person is well respected. Okay? Uh, they knew what they did was wrong, so they stood there because of kids or finances. But in all honesty, their love resides with you. That's just the bottom line. And this relationship couldn't be it couldn't be salvaged. Because the other person knows that their love resides with you. Which made them very uh, envious and jealous over you. Okay? They feel like um, you were the cause of their, this breakup, divorce, separation, whatever. Yeah. This person is coming in with the Page of Pentacles. This person may be younger than you, but they're coming in. They, they, they don't have much to offer you, but they're coming in to offer you something to grow into something more. All right, this may be a job offer coming into you as well. All right, but this person with the higher front and the high priestess, they feel like you guys are the perfect match because they're spiritual as well. I'm trying to get on your level. Yeah, so this started out sexual. Whoa. That's so many cards that came out, but... Okay, all right. This is crazy. Okay. Yes. So this may have started out sexual with the Knight of Wands, in and out energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may have fire in their chart as well, or you may be dealing with a fire sign, but started out uh, sexual, in and out, in and out, nothing... Um, Nothing steady. Hold on. Let me gather these cards. Okay. All right. You're going to have a lot of options here. I'm going to tell you that much. Yeah. So with the four pentacles, um, yeah, this person is still holding on to this connection. All right. This person, again. With the King of Coins, uh, Taurus Capricorn Virgo may have been in a high level relationship, but this person is stable, secure, usually a married man, all right? But there is somebody that has their eye on you, okay, watching you online. Again, I'm picking up a younger energy, all right? With the Magician, Gemini, manifesting this back. But with the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, I see this person uh, is uh, going through a divorce, um, cutting things out. But the King of Swords is very direct, uh, highly intelligent. Uh, this person may have military background or police officer, security guard, something like that. But this person is definitely um, going through like a divorce. But yeah, King of Swords can play a lot of mind games. All right. Um, yeah. But then you have the King of Wands. <laughs> Okay, uh, fire energy, Aries, the Sagittarius. Uh, so you're gonna have a lot of options uh, with the Seven of Cups. But the King of Wands is very handsome, very beautiful, um, very confident. Can be a playboy, but this person fell in love. All right, this person fell in love. This person had a lot of options as well. This may be a same-sex relationship, but this person had a lot of options as well. Okay, but um, right now with the Hangman, sign of Pisces, uh, you're focusing on oneself really uh spiritually inclined right now with the wheel of fortune the wheel is turning in your favor okay uh, with the judgment sign of scorpio you're gonna have to make a decision but this with the judgment i see this person is making a de decision to cut things out and come back to you um uh, they're hoping you'll take them back <laughs> okay yeah um because with the star card uh sign of aquarius you're going through the healing process but some of you all may be tarot readers, have your own online business, social media base, but they see you as a star, somebody that's healing to them, very healing to them, okay? Something about your energy that's very, very healing for them, okay? But they're coming back with a big offer, 
uh, Ace of Coins, and I see a lot of money coming your way. And with the Empress, uh, you guys are very creative. Tap into your into your creativity. You make things grow, but give a birth to new ideas. I see you guys having a baby with this person as well, um, getting married to this person. But this person sees you at this, as the Empress, somebody that they can build with, somebody that they could have a home, children, finances, the whole nine yards. Um, yeah, but this person is coming in to offer you um, a solid, something solid that you can't refuse. Okay, wow. It's coming in nice and slow. Nine in coins, uh, nice and slow. Again, air sign towards Capricorn Virgo, but coming in with something solid. And they're getting their money right too. Yeah, to come towards you. Okay, let me get some love oracles because I have to close this out soon. lot of money so wow <laughs> you're manifesting whatever you're manifesting is coming true i mean so if you have more manifesting love the love is coming manifesting money the money is coming <laughs> yes oh wow okay yeah so healing this person finds you to be very healing, uh, very nurturing, very enlightened, very intuitive. Okay, but some of y'all may still be going through the healing process, doing your spiritual baths, your affirmations. Um, yeah, some of y'all may be getting tower readers again. Um, but you guys are single, doing your thing right now. All right, but this person, her secret crush, be expected an unexpected message. Okay, but this person has a lot of anxiety coming towards you because they think that you're going to reject them. Um, be prepared like uh this person is po possibly a musician plays music some of you all love music uh play play music but um i see a lot of money coming your way through music uh some of you may be writing music producers but this person is very nostalgic when it comes to music this person may be writing a song for you okay um getting their finances right so they could give back to you okay be a provider and romantic feelings this person has a lot of love for you <clears throat> a lot of love Yeah, see, hot and cold, push and pull. This was that type of energy because this person, it was a third party situation. So uh, always busy and distracted, but now you're busy, busy and distracted, but be prepared for unexpected message coming from this person. Okay, this person uh, is gonna follow their intuitions and take a risk coming towards you, but this is spiritually protected. Okay, and I see things picking up in order. Yeah, so this was a spiritual lesson that you needed to learn, okay? But so I, I see some of you all taking up a new subject or learning new subjects in school. Um, yeah, uh, this person left you out in the cold. Some of you all may have been left out in the cold, but now this person uh, knows that they did wrong. Knows that they did wrong and they want to come and even out the scales with you, okay? But you're ascending, and they're ascending as well with you. Uh, staying connected to the divine and this is what you're doing this person is hesitant because they feel like you're going to reject them but uh autumn fall things are going to be picking up in the fall this person is coming back i see in the fall okay and everything is happening in divine timing and i see that you guys are going to be very comfortable with each other home uh finances a lot of love here a lot of love a lot of love here. All right, I'm going to pull some working cards, and then I'm going to close this out. But a lot of options because you have a secret crush. You have somebody else that's coming in. Um, 
yeah so follow your intuitions you're gonna be at a crossroads for real for real you okay but uh whatever you're manifesting um it's coming it's coming it's definitely coming but multiple it's coming. <laughs> just get ready to receive okay yeah flow so spirit saying go with the flow right now get more done by entering the flow state completely and joyfully focus on what you're working on without multitasking okay slow down yes okay sometimes you need to slow down get out of overwhelm refresh and regroup in order to speed up your results and uh yeah listen this person wants you to listen to the mindfulness but listen you're listening to yourself listen to your intuition be mindful of what your inner being says to you follow your gut feelings and stay connected to the to the divine within okay uh clearly decide what you want because some of you all may be confused too many choices you see too many choices okay decide the best course of action and pursue income generating activities in your business and move forward time to take action okay so some of you all may be moving past this and going into the new love overcome your fear to take real action to move your business forward don't wait or justify step out of comfort and take your next action step so this is what you guys are doing take action uh aries this is an action fire sign action oriented but you got a lot of offers coming in and you're going to be confused by too many decisions but um follow your intuitions okay follow your intuitions okay um and have fun and have fun anyway i love you guys i'm possible you're possible your girl st touch side i'm out